Good morning! Jamie, you're getting your feet wet already. I do. First thing in the morning. <laughs> Wakes you up. That's how you keep young, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going today? We're going to go to a spot called Turtle Island. Very special spot. It's just on the outskirts of Brantford along the Grand River. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a few rocks. We've hit a few rocks. Are you all right, Christine? I'm great. That's awesome. Why <laughs> can they stay in the canal? <laughs> that rock on the map. <laughs> <laughs> I know now, Brian, like, here's the thing, like, um, Jamie gave us an option, right? Yes. Uh, two options, sorry. Uh, two options. We can, we can get out to the shallows and wade and walk. Yes. Or we could do what's called the drop. The drop. Yeah. What would you like? Would you like to wade and walk or the drop? I, I think the popular consensus is the drop. Drop, okay. Yeah. So we had some kayakers follow by and they saw something on the rock there. Oh, what's that? Turtles? It's sneaking up on it. No, it's just bird poop. Grand's uh, 300 kilometers long and the watershed is 7,000 square kilometers. Because there's, and they have a number of really long tributaries, like the Nith River would be probably close to 200 kilometers on its own. Conestoga would be over 100. Um, the Speed River would probably be about the same. This area has a rare Carolinian forest, so forest that you'd find in North and South Carolina. We, they call this the banana belt. So, because uh, it's just a few degrees warmer, we don't get as many days of freezing. We get uh, more thaws in the, through the winter. So we have like, a, like a, a cottonwood trees. Uh, we have tulip trees, which is almost semi-tropical. They have a big flower that, uh, that looks like a, like a tulip. They grow like 75 feet high. Uh, Kentucky coffee trees, we have uh, shag bark hickory, we have um, sycamore trees, and, uh, and a lot of black willow. All these species in Canada that are endangered or threatened can be found along the Grand River. Largely because uh, the Carolinian forest has so many species, it's the most biodiverse area in Canada. So there's like several thousand species of, of plants and animals, so that makes it really biodiverse and a lot of stuff you wouldn't find elsewhere in Canada other than maybe along the north shore of Lake Erie. Well, we just stopped for lunch and we had a person from the First Nations uh, tell us stories. It was really kind of cool. Was it, Brian? It was very cool. It was really cool. There's usually something that's very natural beside people you know it could be a forest it could be mountains and in our case it's this river so there's a lot of stories about this river the Grand River and uh, so it's a beautiful place and all the eagles are coming back and that's good to see and now we're off again into the wilderness of the Grand River oh we're leaving a guide behind uh, uh. I never liked him no, as soon as we met the man, he's just full of himself. <laughs> just because he was born on the river doesn't mean he has to be a guide. You said you had the best job ever this summer. Oh yeah. Why? You paddle, canoe, kayak, camp, uh, run summer camps. There's really no end to the fun, honestly. And you grew up on the Grand? Yep. And what do you think of the Grand? Love it. No better stretch. This is actually my favorite stretch here, is uh, just because of how calm it is. If you show up around sunset, usually uh, you can. It looks like a mirror. You can see the trees above and below, and it's just gorgeous. Ha! Take that, Brenda. We got the hotel room without you. Now, do I turn left or right? 
right. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> The whole life of the Grand and coming full circle in business, what's really great is that every beer you buy from myself, being the owner, uh, you, you'll see my wife and kids around here and it basically turns around and puts diapers on their bottoms. So it's it's all good, it's a full circle. So we do appreciate uh, everyone supporting small business right, right near us, so thank you. So he owns On The Land. It's a nice, very beautiful, best restaurant in, in Brantford. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit biased, but. Um, you, know, you ask anyone else, they're going to say the same thing. Um, so we brought Grant in for a, kind of a, a pop-up taco day huh? here at Mash Battle Marine. And uh, we just play had some live music. 100% um, of the beers are made here in-house, so 100% made in Brantford. Grant from On The Lamb and his uh, venue, The Rope Factory, which is around the corner here in the same kind of artisan village, has been buying our beer for quite almost since inception since we started. So we're going together. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of the whole artisan village thing kind of coming together. And um, yeah, so it's just kind of, just, this is just a Saturday here. It's kind of a little bit of a special moment to have these guys down. So we're going to try it out, do the pop-up tacos. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. It's just the tacos, very spicy. Yeah. My lips are on fire. <laughs> I avoided the jalapenos. <laughs> She's hot lips Hulahan. Have you ever heard from Mash? Uh, Wait a minute. If you say so. <laughs> hot lips Hulahan is from Mash, and we're at Mash Brewery. We just kind of stick to the live music or the vinyl, some of the old school stuff. If you bring in your own album, you can throw it on, and we guarantee at least one song. And if it's not too crazy, we'll let the whole thing play. But if it is a bit much, we we do take it off after the first one. Could you explain to my daughter what vinyl is? So vinyl. It, it looks like a frisbee that's been flattened out and is the only thing that sounds fantastic. You'll, you'll find out, it'll be cool. At a certain time, it'll be cool again. And you'll try to steal all your, all your parents' records. <laughs> like I have. Dad only has John Denver records. I don't think I'll be stealing from him. We might have John Denver. <laughs> As I thought, this was gonna be my favorite beer and it's called The New Girlfriend. We might have had a few beers in, in thinking of this name, but what happened is our brewer rinds a bunch of tangerines and he lets it sit in a, basically a natural alcohol little bath and he t makes his own concentrate from the natural tangerines and then he infuses that in the beer when he's brewing. So other than that beer, all of our other ales are natural purity law ales, determined purity law ales, so there's no additives, no preservatives. You can have as much as you want, you won't get a headache, but I'm not guaranteeing great sleep. So you, you'll still feel tired the next day. Yes, you're not gonna get your REM, but uh, we try to we try to stick with all natural here. So my favorite one on tap today is probably our batch 100. It's our 100 big batch of beer. It's a single malt, single single hop, uh, very clean ale. Uh, the hop is a Centennial hop, uh, hence the 100. So we use the Centennial hop. You no, know, we do get into porters and stouts and um, IPAs. Today is a pretty light uh, palette today, but we do rotate all the time. So we encourage you to come by every week. Life on the river, eh? That's it. <laughs> Up the creek. Night two on the Grand River. And we're off to our last stop of the day. Where are we going, Kyla? Two rivers. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> this is a nice backdrop. Thank you. How'd you get this place? I was the waitress here for nine years, and my uh, another waitress and I we bought it in November. So, what do you think of the river? Oh, I love the river. As soon as we moved here, I'm from Toronto. We bought kayaks, and uh, as soon as I get a day off, I'm gonna go kayaking again. <laughs> So let me get this straight. So you, you moved here because you love the river, want to kayak the river, and then you took a business on where you don't have the time to do that. Exactly. But you got a great view. I do. And I get to see it whenever I'm working, so. So uh, what's your favorite part about the Grand River? About the Grand River? Probably just seeing the action on it. Seeing everybody else enjoy it is always nice. Because I don't get much time to enjoy it, that's for sure. So if you did have the time, uh, what would you be doing on the river? Canoeing, kayaking, rafting, fishing, swimming, 
everything that you can do in the river. So on a canoe trip, my daughter and I, we always end the day at the campfire by saying, what was the favorite moment of the day? So what was your favorite moment of today? Today, my favorite moment, uh, oh, I don't think it's come yet, yes, to be no. honest. When we're done and we have our glass of wine at the end of the night. <laughs> hmm. I liked hearing the stories from the native elder. That's my favorite part of the day. What was the best part of your day? Uh, so far, the uh, river. <laughs> Cheers! She's <laughs> only had one glass of water, not even. Not even <laughs> one glass. <laughs> How much of a lightweight are you? <laughs> very much, very much so. <laughs> Kyla! <laughs> we were sitting in the sun. <laughs> Christine, it was raining out. <laughs> no, there was oh, no sun. <laughs> it was actually for a little bit, wasn't it? <laughs> there was no sun. <laughs> Help me. There's nothing wrong with being Help a light. Help me, please. <laughs>